What's up, Laker fans? Welcome to Laker Film Room. Kyle Kuzma has been a defensive standout in the bubble. In this video, I take a closer look at how he's coupling his natural talent with increasingly refined technique, and how that's helping the Lakers in the playoffs. In most situations, a good defensive stance involves being squared up to the ball handler without one foot out in front of the other. That allows the defensive player to slide their feet in either direction to react to whatever the offensive player does. That's because if defensive players get one foot out in front of the other, offensive players are taught to attack in that direction. Michael Porter Jr. reaches in here and gets his left foot ahead of his right. That means he has to drop his left foot before he can move laterally in that direction. By the time that happens, Kuz already has his shoulder past him and gets all the way to the rim. But watch Kuz's feet here. His left foot is ahead of his right foot. So Reggie Jackson tries to attack in the direction of his top foot, but Kuz quickly drops it back and at an angle. Jackson counters with the crossover because now Kuz's right foot is his top foot. But again, he immediately drops it, keeping Jackson in front of him before engulfing him for the block. Kuz's ability to quickly drop his top foot has allowed him to stay in front of some of the game's best players. It looks like Kawhi Leonard is about to use a crossover dribble here, so Kuz reacts in that direction. But Kawhi then brings his hand over the top of the ball and pulls it back to his right, which is called an inside-out dribble. Kuz's weight is shifted onto his right foot, so he has to use what's called a crossover step to recover, crossing his right foot well over his left. That means that he's vulnerable to a drive in the direction of his right foot, and Leonard has already recognized it and begun to alter his course to drive to his left. But remarkably, Kuz is able to stay on the balls of his left foot and pivot, dropping his right foot all the way back before Leonard gets his shoulders past him. Kuz then uses a little jump stop to get both feet under him, which allows him to elevate higher and contest Leonard, dissuading him from taking the shot. This has been very helpful against Portland's high-scoring guards. He puts his right foot ahead of his left here, but it's not a great option for McCollum with LeBron lurking at the elbow. McCollum still fakes left though, because it causes Kuz to change his defensive stance and expose his left foot instead. That's the direction McCollum has an advantage in now, and it's away from the help defender. So he tries to drive, but Kuz changes his stance in time to cut him off. Plan B for McCollum is to use the step back, but that requires creating space. Kuz has his hand up in what would be the normal path of McCollum's shooting stroke, forcing him to fade away so it doesn't get blocked. Elite offensive players often require the attention of two defenders, so being able to stay attached to them is helpful because it takes away one or more of their options. James Harden attacks Kuz's top foot and gets his shoulders past him on this play, but Kuz still turns and stays attached to his right shoulder. KCP then rotates over to try to take the charge, making Harden alter his path back to his right. That leads him back towards Kuz, who stayed close enough to him to recover and block the shot. And Kuz has done a fantastic job of executing within the broader game plan. He isn't trying to stay in front of McCollum on this play. He's trying to prevent him from using the screen. He does that by squaring his hips, shoulders, and feet to the sideline. If McCollum drives baseline, that's okay, because if he drives to the basket, he becomes Dwight's responsibility. Dwight has his arm out to protect against the pass to the top of the key to Damian Lillard or a dump-off pass to a cutter. AD lurks as a free safety of sorts, and LeBron drops down to help on AD's man. As McCollum dribbles through, AD recovers to his man, and LeBron recovers back for an excellent closeout to the shooter. Kuz then drops down to rebound and beats Lillard to the ball before going coast to coast for the layup. This is stellar execution of ice principles by each Lakers player here, and it's all set up by Kuz executing the defensive game plan at the point of attack. His exceptional footwork and the ability to play on the balls of his feet have always benefited him on the offensive end. It allows him to maneuver around defenders in the paint and shoot while he's on the move. And now he's applying his talent and technique to the defensive end more than ever. All right, that'll do it for this one. I'll catch you guys next time.